Johnny, how are you? Good. How are you, buddy? Yeah, not too bad. Um, first off, congratulations on the um, on the film. I think I believe I had a great uh, opening weekend. I saw like like you know the New York Times, IndieWire, um, RogerEbert.com all gave it really positive reviews. Like from places that you wouldn't necessarily would expect would love a Jackass film. I'm guessing just for you. I mean, obviously that's gratifying, but I mean, what do you make of it, or what do you think about it? Yeah, I don't know. Um, my only take on it is, I, I, but I mean, Roger Ebert doesn't fit into this because, and we're proud of that. We're happy that Roger Ebert yeah. gave us a good review. Well, he's dead. But I mean, it's I think the, the people that grew, the people that were in high school when the first one came out are now writing for the newspapers and are the critics and they grew up with this and i think you know they we have that going for us um but in roger ebert's case i don't know uh he didn't grow up with this since high school but thank god he likes the film but they as they say in old buildings politicians and whores eventually become respectable cool uh, it's Roger Lieber like died a few years ago. It's the website for Roger Lieber dot com. Oh, hey. okay. Well, you yeah. see, I'm up on it. <laughs> well, no wonder he gave us a good review. He's been he's been dead for four years, but no. But I mean, it, no. In fairness, like I mean, the reviewer, yeah. the guy, the guy, um, Matt Zeller cites. He was like, you know, Roger Lieber would have loved this because, like, Jackass Forever is a film that is not trying to be anything else other than what it is. Like, there's a kind right. of a beauty in that. Like, but whatever. Again, another thing that I, I, I kind of loved about the film was the fact that um, everyone actually seemed to be enjoying each other's company. That, like, you know, when you were all breaking your whole, breaking your arses laughing at it, it seemed genuine. It didn't seem forced. Um, has, and I know you've kind of, again, I know you've talked about this already, but I mean, has any of this kind of made you think, God, you know, we're, we had such a good time. Let's do this again. I mean, or are, is this it for you now? Like, do you really think this is kind of it? Can you do uh, this again? We don't know if it's it. We film each one like it's the last, but it could be another one. We have a young cast now, uh, and we have a ton of ideas we didn't even get to film because you can only film so much. But there were some great ideas we left on the table. We could film another one. We could not, but we did have a ball in this for sure. Yeah. Um, I know you're turning 51 next month, and I have to ask this. Um does it hurt more now that you're in middle age or does it hurt less because you've got the experience? It hurts the same. It hurts really? the same in the beginning as it does now. You right. know, bulls suck when they hit you 20 years ago and they suck now, but they get great footage and I love bulls. I absolutely love them. So uh, recovery, time may, recovery time might be a little longer, but... Sure. Uh, the pain is the same, but I'm not very in touch with my body. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm just not very in touch with my body and it helps. If you mind me asking, is that like a kind of a yoga thing? Like you've just disconnected your brain or is that just like you've learned to kind of. No, I'm just mercurial and not in touch with my body. You know, I don't know. I have no idea, <laughs> but I, I do realize that about myself. People have pointed that out and I'm like, wow, I think you're right. Do you think, I mean, has that ever given you pause to kind of analyze that? Or do you just like, fuck it, I don't care. Like, I can't, I can't feel it kind of thing. Or, the, well, you can um, feel it, but you're not connected to it, I guess. Yeah, my pain threshold, I think, is probably the same as everybody else's, quite honestly. I, I don't know how to gauge that, you know. But uh, my give a shit threshold is really low. That's just the way it is. And so I've tried to turn that into a positive. There was a thing I read about, you know, how Jackass was kind of the internet before the internet was a thing. And, you know, the idea of kind of self-shot and all that kind of stuff, um, self-shot footage and everything else. I mean, I guess like, you know, the fact that the advent of the internet and TikTok and all this shit, when you were going in to make this film, did any of that kind of, was any of that on your mind or was it just... We're just going to do what we've always done. And if people like it, who gives a shit? Or if they don't. Whatever. Yeah, it's it's what we've always done. And people like it great if they don't. I, we've existed before all that. And yeah. we exist in it now. In my head, it, there's a, it has no bearing. Actually, in any of our heads, it has no bearing on what we're doing in the movie. 
we just, in the beginning, we did it to make each other laugh, honestly, and that's still the litmus test when we're filming. If people on the set are laughing, if the cast and crew are laughing, we got something. But if no one's laughing, we're Stop. gonna have to step it up or move on to another bit. Yeah. Because I can't, was, I don't know how to make a movie to make other people laugh. I don't. I couldn't, I can't, I don't know how to make a movie to make the public laugh. I know how to make a movie to make my friends laugh. And luckily people laugh at that. Yeah. Does, uh, yeah, well, I mean, that was what, yeah, that kind of goes to it, what I was going to say next is the fact that like, I remember being at the press screener for this and I was fucking laughing like a hyena for Thank 90 you. minutes. Like my final question, because I'm getting the wrap up here. Um, when you are going to the cinema, what is your preferred snack? Or do you would you even bother to bring a snack with you in the cinema? Oh, God, popcorn. Anything salty, I love. And uh, I love popcorn. Buttered Sometimes or non-buttered? too much. What? Buttered no or butter. non-buttered? No, no butter. Uh, just salty. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, um, I think I'm getting the wrap up there, so I better leave it there. Listen, I really, I absolutely loved the film. I thought it was fucking fantastic. I laughed my ass off for 90 minutes. Thank you. It was great, and I'm really delighted it's doing well for you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Great stuff. Thanks so much. It's got to be over, dude. I think we're all the way finished. We're through. Stick a fork in it.